So if your normal route is down 18th and Racine, you might see this construction here on the corner, but don't worry, come November, all of that's going to change. You're going to be able to come to La Luna here and enjoy some traditional tacos with a twist and even a Loteria-inspired drink menu. We didn't want it to be like another, you know how everyone says, another Mexican restaurant, another taco place, so I was like, how are we going to add on to it? And I thought Loteria was just a great cultural like twist to it. 26-year-old Samantha Sanchez combined Mexican food with Loteria or Mexican bingo. All of our cocktails are actually based off the characters, so they're all going to have like their own like taste to them or their like own twist. Construction here is about 50% complete, and when you walk through the doors, you'll see a bar and a seating area. But there's a whole lot more. The downstairs is just going to be open on weekends, but it's just going to be a little bit more loungy, chill, benches, some games down there, and then just kind of this like an atmosphere where you can relax. And as far as decorations go, Sanchez recruited her favorite local artists. We looked at a lot of their artwork. Um, we're gonna try to pick our like top three favorite styles and then have them come in and look at the space. Sanchez gets her passion for the industry from her father, who owns Most Cantina, Old Crow, and several other popular venues. Working with him, I've seen the good, the bad, like what's hard in it. So I personally th thought I was like in a point in my life where I'm ready to kind of start my own. Samantha wants to make sure her heritage and traditions are part of her first business venture. Definitely bringing in that cultural loteria so people can witness more of what our culture is and be a part of it.